Hello, welcome to Bible Adventureland. In today's video, I want to wish everybody a Merry Merry Christmas. And I want to show you how I set up my nativity set. This is uh, not a Bible Adventureland exhibit like usually, it's just what I did with my family. But if anybody of you wants to learn a couple of tricks or learn something how I did it and do it yourself, it's really easy to make. Also, as many of you know, this year is about to come to an end. And at the end of this video, I want to tell you a couple of announcements. What happened with Bible Adventureland, uh, what's the plan for future, and basically what's going on. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Thank you so much. And let's go build this. So the way I'm going to build my nativity set is I'm going to take this foam. This is my last pieces that I had. It's kind of dirty already. I'm going to take this plywood from a pallet that I got. But in the results, it's going to come out really good. So what I do is I cut this foam in the shapes of a hill. You gotta have a really sharp knife for this because this plastic doesn't want to get cut with the, any other knife. Thing. Okay, so what I want to do here is like a little hill is going to be right here and it's like a little path towards the barn and all the animals are going to walk towards the barn and Mary and Joseph are going to be inside the barn. That's my plan right now. So I'm going to glue this down, I'm going to glue this piece down, put sculpture mold over it, fill this up like a landscape, plant some trees, it's going to look fantastic. That's it. And I'm getting help putting the glue on the scenery. I'm gonna glue this foam. Ah. Oh, she's so happy to help. So right now, I put sculpture mold over it to make the landscape for my scenery. Kind of make it into like the scenery from Israel. I carve it out of the foam, but I kind of... Uh, Fix it up with the, this top trim. Alright, right now we did a base coat, now we're gonna paint the rocks. The top rock is gonna be a little brighter than the darker rock. And we're gonna make like a natural shade thing. Now we're gonna paint where the grass is going to be. The only thing, the grass is gonna be real. This is only like just to cover it. applying glue on top of the paint 
all around my panorama. I only apply glue where I want the grass to grow. After I apply glue, I'm gonna put the grass. It's a fine tarf. It's gonna make a really small grass, so I'm just gonna apply it lightly until I get desired effect. The excess grass will be removed. Okay, so what's gonna happen now is I'm, a, is I gonna add some trees that I picked outside. It's like blueberry br branches. So we're gonna add these trees. We're gonna plant one right here in the middle, just like that. Now it looks like a little forest right there. Barn's going to be over here. Everybody's gonna be coming this way and the way I make hay is this way so I take regular feeding hay I fold it over by the way Rebecca is recording I fold it over many times like this make a little little thing then Rebecca is recording right now and then what I do is I, I cut it like this I cut it with the knife that's going to be my hay for the animals and for the major of course I like the recording of my daughter she's three years old right now see and now this would be hay for the barn and after we cut it we're just gonna put it in a barn. That's where uh, Jesus is gonna be laying. Right now I got this moth, moss. It's a furry moss and I'm gonna put it around the trees. I got this furry moss on the trees. Hmm, start looking good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. We see the shepherds in the field watching over the flock and the angel appeared to them. So, and then you see the forest in the background. And that's kind of like Israel landscape, even a Christmas tree next to the um, next to the barn. And this is like a typical barn that is from Sears or something. That's what we use for Christmas every time. I just decided to add more landscape to it. This is like a Roman warrior here from this set. He's guarding. And here's the three wise men coming from the east. I know with the camel. This is it. You can see some grass. Mary and Joseph and a bunch of animal around them. They're just after birth. And this is it. That's how it looks like. This uh, scenery gives it a lot more realistic look. And it's good to explain your kids a story. How Jesus was born in a barn. And how the shepherds were in a field. And the wise men came from the east. Although it wasn't the same time, but... They're written in the Bible in the same story, in the same set of events, so that's why I put them together. But this is it. it looks realistic. Right now I want to do a couple announcements about the Bible Adventureland. As year coming to an end, in 2018, I get a lot done, but I did not reach my goal. Um, I built a lot of projects like Dinosaur, Chariot, Ark of the Covenant, Ark, Temple, and so much other projects. You can go back in my channel and see them. But my goal was to reach 1,000 subscribers so I can monetize my channel and get a little bit of profit to build my projects. But I did not reach that goal. However, it was not a failure. I have 
something that's most important is you guys. I have a lot of people who commenting, I have a lot of people who's watching my videos and for this idea, which is thank you so much. It is a big thing for me, it is a big improvement. For next year, my goal is to find a piece of land, piece of property where I can start building the exhibits. And I already look at some places, one was like $800, which probably could be affordable and I did not find a, a perf per permanent place yet. But if I find a place, I will have to start building all the new exhibits. My old exhibits, for example, like Noah's Ark, I was displaying in church and kids broke it down. I mean, broke a lot of it down. So if I will have some funding income coming in, I can build a high quality material, high quality exhibits, a brand new project, a Bible from beginning to an end. It will be a great educational experience, even for Christian people to see the whole history of the Bible. And, but I want to do a lot of, uh, ex I want to do a lot of uh, adventures in my Bible adventure land. So when you come there, you will have adventures. So one thing I want to do is a petting zoo, but it's going to be not like a regular petting zoo. You go to like a, anywhere, any place. It will be a Garden of Eden. And all a lot of animals will be roaming loose. I'm not sure what animals, I will probably be getting new and new animals, and if it's gonna grow big, I will have elephants walking around. Obviously, I will have a guard next to each elephant, so... But you will be able to come up to an elephant or some other exotic animals. From the beginning, it will be like emu birds and, and a bunch of small animals, maybe like goats, sheep, llamas, you know, a capybaras, like stuff, animals like that in Garden of Eden. So it will be a lot of adventures, plus other adventures when you're going to go through a Red Sea, maybe ride a chariot, take picture with Goliath, and so much more, you're going to have adventures. So this is my goal, get a piece of property. So right now I have 500 subscribers. If, every, if each of those subscribers will get me one more, I will already have a thousand subscribers. That would be great, you know, and that way I can start. So thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next year. Um, I definitely will. I'm definitely praying that God will be involved in this and I can move on and basically start this thing. So thank you so much. My goal is to start, open a small place called Bible Adventure. God bless. Wish you Merry Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I'll see you soon.